Welcome back. This is the last unit of the lesson, and now we're learning how to make questions using adjectives. What you see over here is an infography, which is going to be um, the project of the week. And I am comparing two things, the London Underground and the New York Subway. First of all, the name. In London, the Underground is uh, the subject that we have here in Mexico, the Metro. In New York, uh, they say it Subway. I am starting with the first characteristic, that is the total root length. My question, how long? I am adding the adjective. I am investigating about, I am inquiring about in my question, how long is the underground in London? And how long is the subway in New York? As you see, the longest is the underground in London because it covers 402 kilometers, while in New York it is 373 kilometers length. And my second question, I am asking how crowded, that is my adjective, how crowded is the subway? In the subway in New York is 1.65 billion number of passengers per year. It means that the subway is more crowded than the London underground. How crowded is the underground? Well, the underground is 1.2 billion a number of passengers per year, so it is less crowded. The next question I make, how expensive is the underground? Well, what you see is that in this case, the New York under, uh, no, the underground is two pounds and 30, while the subway is $2.75. I made the conversion and the underground is more expensive than the New York uh, subway. And finally, how old is the subject? Well, the subway is, 90, is from uh, 1904, while the underground is 1863. It means that the network, the oldest network is the London Underground, okay? Well, what I want you to pay attention here is that we are combining or we are adding an adjective to our questions and we use them to make more specific questions about numbers, about figures. And that is exactly what you are doing and the project uh, I am assigning you for the week how long, how crowded, how expensive, how old, we can say how far, how big, how beautiful. It means that the combinations are endless. And uh, pay attention to the numbers that we have over here uh, because we are using them in our specific questions for uh, this part of the unit and the week, okay? Well, I hope this is clear for you. Use your book. Uh, it is marked over here, your student's book, page 26, and your workbook, pages 23 and 24. I hope this is clear for you, and see you in the practice class. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.